everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I wanted to do something a little bit different that I haven't done before and it's basically the last six months of Amazon and what I've bought on Amazon and a complete haul. So I am surrounded by Amazon goodies at the moment on my desk and I thought I would show you. I have three different types of, I guess you'd call them categories. So I've got home, a bit of like health and fitness and then um, beauty. I guess, I don't know, they're kind of like, yeah, I don't know. We'll start off here anyway. So let's get into the video. So first off, I have this, I am obsessed with this tissue box. I've put it on my stories before and you guys definitely loved it. You swiped up a bazillion times. This one is just acrylic tissue box. It's super lightweight, puts a little square tissue box in it and it's empty on the other side. It's just a really nice pattern. It's solid so that when you try and get a tissue box, like when you try to get a tissue out of it, it's solid so that the tissue actually comes out, which is important because that's what you need a tissue box for. But yeah, I just think it looks really cute and goes with my day at my house. The next purchase from Amazon, which I am obsessed with, I have an entire category on my Amazon shop front. So I will put a link in the description box down below for all of them. But these two are my favorite simply because of the color, but coffee table books. I have so many of these different ones. I have the YSL one. I have the Chanel one. I have the Louis Vuitton one, the Dior one, the Prada one. I have so many of these and there's also little mini versions of well as well. And they're like quite cute. They're maybe like this big and really affordable as well. These are about $60, $70 each. Um, if you're not into spending too much money on them, you can still kind of get the same vibe. They're just a little bit smaller. So these are two of my favorite ones and I put them in my wardrobe to spice up the color a little bit. Hmm, so cute. So back in the kitchen, I'm quite a practical kind of gal. I do like my decor in my kitchen to be beautiful, but also practical. So I have this mortar and pestle, definitely saying that wrong, but it's really, really heavy. This is actually made of marble. Very affordable. It's got a wooden handle and a marble stone as well. Um, and look, nice and beautiful. You can put great things in there and grind them. <laughs> I honestly haven't used this yet, but I am just obsessed with the color of it and it looks really nice, so I bought it. Um, but if I do want to use it, it would come in handy. I just don't get much time to cook. That sounds really bad and probably not selling it very much, but if you like, like the decor component, here it is, it's beautiful. My next favorite Amazon purchase, actually, you know what? I'm gonna do this one first. These are so practical and so handy. A complete set of like kitchen, I don't know, utensils. But these are, can I just say, we got given these as a gift from um, an engagement gift. And these are so, so good. These are so good. I can't tell you how good they are. We actually bought them for the loft apartment. I am so happy with these. They are so practical, right? So they don't, if you put them on the, like say, like this, they don't drip. They don't like touch the floor. How handy is that? So you never get all your, you know, saucy sauceness on the table. And then you can switch them around as well. I don't know why you'd use a spoon like that, but in case you ever wanted to, it has the capabilities. And you can do something else with this too. Hang on. There we go. You can turn that bit around. So more like a ladle. You see? So it becomes like a full on soup ladle. Anyway, so that's just one incredible function of just this spoon. But the flipper, it's really, really thin. So it's great for like pancakes, also for rissoles or anything else you make. Um, I use this a lot, actually. This is probably my most popular one. And between this and rice, the rice one, well, it's just a spoon, but it has a measuring spoon in it. So if you need one teaspoon or one tablespoon of water, she's in there. And the beauty of it is, is when you put the tablespoon or teaspoon in, it has the measurement on it, which doesn't mean it overflows. So, you know, when you're transferring from the tap to the bowl, it doesn't spill on the way there. That's important. So that's handy. I bought this. Comes in a complete set of five, very affordable. Also with the pasta one, I don't know what they're called, but they're just great. And they're quick, cute colors. They also come in red, like the full sets of black and red, if you don't like the colors. Um, and I think they come in other, just the full set of the same color as well. But um, I'll link them all down below for you. I just like the colored, so I got the colored ones. However, leading on to my next purchase, is if you do have just normal traditional cooking spoons, say like a wooden spoon, I also have this spoon tray. Fabian kind of laughed at me when I bought, but I actually really love this. I use this all the time. It's so handy for everything, for spoons, for sauces, just not getting it on the bench or the table. And you just put it on there and put your little spoon in. Obviously not one that is, you know, 
actually does hit the ground and it is perfect. Very happy with this one. So that is getting out of the kitchen and now I'm going to go into, oh, well, I don't know. I have three recommendations, but I can't actually lift two of them up. So let me just show you. <clears throat> Hang on. Just gonna fix my hair because all that excitement in the kitchen has just made it gone crazy. That's definitely worse than it'll do. Hang on. Perfect. So three things I have been absolutely loving in ISO when I am doing my home fitness workouts, which probably is not enough, but however, I'm still doing them, is our dumbbell rack. So we've got all of our dumbbells on it, a few other pieces of equipment as well as the, uh, what are they called? Kettlebells, I'll put some kettlebells on there as well. So I'll put a link in the description box down below so you can check that one out. I've also bought some ankle weights, which are great when we're doing yoga or Pilates, particularly for anybody who likes to add a little bit of weight and a bit more of a challenge to the feet and the legs. And I think these are one and a half pounds. So I don't know what that weighs in kilos, but I'll put a link in the description box down below and you can figure that out. I'm not sure, sorry guys. And the third and final fitness inspired Amazon purchase that I've had is these fitness bands and they come in five different strengths. So you've got extra light, light, medium, heavy and extra heavy and obviously, oh, Mr. P, kiss me, I'm filming. Better color coded now. So you can see the lighter colors are obviously a bit lighter and the darker colors are a bit harder. So pretty good, lots of exercises. It comes with a how-to card, which tells you what to do with all of the bands. So I've been using these as well, very good. And now we're moving into like the beauty and the home bathroom, bedroom kind of space and area. And these are things that I use every single day. I love, love these products. So I will first off start with the Guisha. I'm not entirely sure if that's how you say it, but that's how we're going to say it today. These are so nice. They're always just nice and really cold and fresh. And so when you put your serums on over night time, oh, they just, I don't know what it is about it. Like, cause you can use all three edges, which I do. I always just take them away from the middle of the face and across my forehead and then up my decolletage as well. They're just so luxurious. They're even right now, like it's quite a cold little temperature on it and it just as you put it over your skin, it just feels so nice and so smooth and soft. So I've been loving using this. Just kind of adds a little bit extra to the beauty routine and they're so affordable. They're, these are like $10 delivered. So very happy with this one. You can also buy sets with the rollers as well, which is also a good idea. If you like to get underneath your eyes or on your eyelids, the smaller rollers that are come on the end of the rollers. So I'll put a link in the description box just for a single one and also for a pair that comes with that as well. So I'll keep you posted. The next one is this. Okay. So I will definitely tell you about 10 years ago, I bought a, a wax set like this and it has lasted me until three weeks ago until I had to buy this one. So basically you, these are like, wax sets, right? So you just put the wax cartridge in the top of it, it heats it up and then you roll it on wherever, say for example, your arm, you roll it down away from the hair and then you use the wax strips to get rid of the hair. So I have been using this on my legs and my arms for like eight or nine years now. I only just bought this one. It's super affordable. It's about $49 delivered and I'm so, so happy with this. It's just so simple and yet so easy and such a high cost saving. I mean, every time I go to the salon to get your legs and arms waxed, if that's what you're into, it's about $100 anyway. So I'm buying this plus the wax strips and the wax cartridge and it's less than $100 and I get to use this for forever. Well, probably another eight to 10 years until it breaks. But I mean, so handy and so easy to do at home and while all the salons are closed, it's a no brainer really. Also on this note, it's slides in super easy here. And if you need to have more, you can slide them into each other like this. So this little side bit comes off and you can just connect the next one. So one is for power and one is for your neighboring little, if you have like two of these, I don't know how much hair you've got. And if you want to get rid of it all, you can just connect them and keep going. But I think this is for more like salon use anyway, but hey, some people are just hairier than others and require more wax cartridges, which I'm all here for that. So it's there if you need it. All right, I got two more to go, stay with me. Okay, so this has been one of the best purchases that I've made. So every night before I get in the shower, I literally take all of my jewelry off and I put it on this little marble cone. It's so, so nice to just have somewhere to put your jewelry. And I've just, oh, 
some hair on there. I've just found some little gold trays and trinkets as well. So I'm going to leave them in the description box down below a link for you if you want to take a look at them. But these are just super, super nice. Quick postage on this as well, I remember. And I use this every day, put all my rings on it, put them back on in the morning. And it's just easy to have next to the sink, you know, like a really easy, cute display. I'll put the link for these ones and the little gold trays that I've already ordered as well, but they just haven't arrived for this video. So really cute. And I use this all the time. And last but not least, these have been such a good organizing space and they fit into so many drawers as well and you can put them i don't know on top of your um i don't know chest of drawers or however you like to display your sunglasses or jewelry i like to put mine in a drawer and also in my wardrobe as well these are it's just basically like a sunglasses organization thing I don't know. I looked at all of the ones that you can have like stands on. They sort of were a bit icky for me. If you have got like taller sunglasses like I do, you can then just add the taller sunglasses on the top section if you have like multiple trays, I guess. I have, I think, two or three trays upstairs. I actually bought three and ended up giving one to Fabian because he has a zillion sunglasses as well. So I love these. I use these all the time. Also the little jewelry holders, I have them too. So I'll put a link in the description box for them. They also come in a different like beigey, softer brown color, which I love. So yeah, so you can put all your sunglasses in there clearly i'm a big fan of celine and i've got some tom ford in there these are ysl i think yeah Saint Laurent. and uh, my prada ones quite happy with my sunglasses collection at the moment that is my amazon haul for the last six months guys if you are interested in any of these products there is a link down below for everything that you could ever need on amazon i'll put a link for my storefront in there as well so you can have a look at my other categories and take a look at all the extra um coffee table books like I mentioned so make sure you check that out don't forget to subscribe to my newsletter on beckylam.com also subscribe to my channel like this video if you like it and I will see you in the next one thanks guys bye, bye.